from online to mainstream, Zalora Philippines continues to stimulate the growth of local e-commerce with Southeast Asia's retail industry. We have live in the studio Zalora's co-founder and CEO, Paulo Campos. Paulo, thank you very much for joining us. Um, let's talk about your business model. Uh, we know that, of course, it's an online shopping mm -hmm. place. Everyone is by now familiar with Zalora. Mm -hmm. um, but recently, you've opened like, pop-up concept stores in the mall. Can you explain the shift? Sure. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the core of our business model mm -hmm. is still the same. We're mm -hmm. currently the Philippines' largest uh, online fashion e-commerce site. Uh, every day, 200,000 people visit our website every day. So for you know, the traffic to our store, our online store is basically what uh, you know, would put us in the top five mm -hmm. malls uh, in the Philippines. Um, however, to, to amplify our, our customer acquisition strategies, we've recently opened a uh, pop-up store um, at, uh, at the Shangri-La mm -hmm. um, uh, Long Edsa. And uh, it's really a way for us to bridge the gap between offline and online, uh, for mm -hmm. us to, uh, you know, Attract is, customers. Is there some sort of gimmick in these pop-up stores, or is it a normal store that carries Zalora? I know there are Zalora branded right. clothes, so you have your own line. Does it work that way? So I just go in there, take the clothes. A, a salesperson maybe helps me, and then I pay for it. No, it's not. Um, it's very different from mm -hmm. a traditional one. It's a digital pop-up store mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, you can't actually walk out of the uh, store with any of the items. You purchase them mm -hmm. online within the store. So okay. uh, our sales staff are, you know, very much trained up as any of our customer service team members would do to help you with the online shopping process. How to register for an mm -hmm. account? How to uh, fulfill the order? The different payment methods we offer. Uh, so very much, it's a uh, it's a way for us to handhold customers down the online shopping path. So it's, it's a marketing uh, strategy. It is. It's very much a strategy for us to acquire new customers. Uh, and the other thing is uh, mm -hmm. it's a pop-up concept. So we were, we were only supposed to be there for three months, but it, we did phenomenally well for those three months. So we extended it to six months. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll be moving on to other locations around. Uh, how are, how are your customers or future customers? Is it working out well for you? It is very mm -hmm. much so. I think the constraint is that we're limited to the geographic uh, mm -hmm. catchment area of the mm -hmm. particular mall, which is why we want to move around. So mm -hmm. we'll be uh, opening pop-up stores in different uh, nationwide locations, not, not only in Metro Manila, but mm -hmm. in other key cities as well. Um, so for our cu customers in that particular geography, it's great. Um, but at, the, at our core, we're still an online site and mm -hmm. we you know, ship nationwide and really um, um, uh, selling mm -hmm. to the 40 million Filipinos nationwide mm -hmm. who are online. Okay, so uh, we know that e-commerce maybe is the wave of the future. It's it, it's tomorrow. It's the future. Uh, but LBC's um, e-commerce platform they just announced that they were shutting down. Are you not scared? And are you, do you remain bullish for 2016? Very much so. I think uh, if you look at uh, 2015, I mean we've been able to grow sales very very. Uh, you know, it's been exponential growth mm -hmm. for us in 2015 versus 2014. I think at the end of the day, e-commerce is still uh, you're still building a consumer brand. So um, you know there's the brick and mortar of e-commerce or the back end of e-commerce, which is the warehouse and the delivery and all of those other pieces of the supp uh, supply chain mm -hmm. um, uh, of getting a product from you know from the the seller to the customer, uh, but at the end of the day, you still need to build a consumer brand that Filipinos trust, that mm -hmm. Filipinos uh, are inspired by, uh, so that's where we think we're very well positioned. Uh, so those brands that can create that consumer mm -hmm. brand um, and really win the trust of the market, those ones will really do well. Uh, okay, really quickly, well. before I let you go, what is this Zalora sale? Yeah. Everybody loves a sale. It's fantastic, mm -hmm. perfect timing. Uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. December 12, 12, 12, will be our uh, biggest sale of the year. Uh, very much in the in, in, on the back of events like Singles Day in mm -hmm. China or Cyber Monday in mm -hmm. the US. Uh, the idea is to have you know, one e-commerce day for not only Zalor, but a lot of other e-commerce players in, in the Philippines. Uh, so go online for up to 80% off great brands uh, and something that our customers will, uh, will really love. All right, that sounds great. Thank you very much for Thank joining so us today, Paolo Campos.